ever upside, it means it float. When something sit down the water, it means it sink. So the experiment that is we need a water tub and some things we have at home. Now we have we are gonna add water in the tub. So I have put the water. Now I will take the material to a thing I have and add them in the water. First, I have a coin, so I will add it in the water. You see, it sit down the bar, sit down. Now we will add the eraser. It sink down. Now we will add the ball. You see, it float. And now this. this thing. The, this. You see, it sink also. Now we will see the rock. It's it's covering, but it's go down. Now the Lego part. It sink down also. And the marker. It floats. And the no, we are done. And the marker. It floats also. Let's move this out of the side. So we will add the cup. It floats also. This is how we did it. We add the rock and these. Stop. See? This rock is coming, going a little down. And the cup is it's floating. And these markers are floating. And the ball is floating. And the coin sink down. And this sink down also. This is the experiment I had to bring for you and share with you. This is the video how we will do sink and float. So guys, I made a table of sink and float. I will write in the sink column that what thing sink, coin. No, I will write the Lego part. And the ball. the ball and and the and you see Lego part float and ball float and the rock sink. And the next thing you think the float is a cup. And the market float also. So now not in the column. And the next thing has and the block float also. subscribe if you will subscribe my video i'll make more and more kids dry videos so bye friends see you next time